Hi everyone, it's Mariah Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a stationary haul. <laughs> so um, I went to Michael's and they had coupons and it's just amazing. So I just wanted to share with you guys like the pens and supplies that I got for my bullet journaling. So to, oh gosh. So to start off with, um, let's talk markers. Um, now these I've gotten, I've been collecting them for almost a month now, so I didn't buy these all at once. So first off we have this bad boy. I was at Target and I saw this and I almost lost my mind. I was like, oh my gosh, are those mild liners? Is it all 15 mild liners? So they're in English, the writing on them, instead of in um, either Japanese or Chinese that um, they are if you order them off of Amazon. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a full video dedicated to them because I want to do like comparison swatches and see how they are, whether they're the same or not. Um, and so yeah, so mild liners. Ooh. Okay. I have three packs of Tombows. Let's go over the two. Let's go over the one I'm using currently. So this is the secondary palette. Um, it comes with three more shades. It comes with they're the ones I'm using for my monthly colors. So it comes with these three plus the ones that are in there. I think I'm going to do like um, a shot of, I have a spread in my bullet journal where I have all the colors with the numbers in which packs they're in. Um, so I wrote these three out. Um, yeah, so um, these are kind of like very, so it's a secondary colors, but it's very like, kind of like olive -y green and nice brown colors. I just saw it and I was like, yep, that's, that's the one. So I got that one first. And so these are the three colors I'm using this month in my um, journal. So I have 933, 603, and 158. So I have those. those And then I have the Galaxy pen set, um, and these are like super bold, super bright, um, kind of, they're beautifully rich colors. These are kind of like a little bit different from what I've used in my bullet journal in the past, but I felt like a few of these teal colors kind of spoke to me, the purples, and actually all of them to be fair. So I just um, wanted to add it to my collection. And since I'm really trying to like expand like what I do in my journal, I thought the different colors would be a good way to, easy way to start doing that. <laughs> and thirdly, I have this pack. This is the landscape pack. Um, again, these are beautiful kind of just, well, colors you would see in a landscape. They're beautiful blues and greens and like orange, this kind of like burnt orangey brown color. Gorgeous. <laughs> um, so there's that. And then I got a few like tool type items, um, in my... In this month's spread, I don't know if you guys remember, but I have a circular cleaning spread. Um, and I got this kit at um, the store. So it's a compass and a protractor. Um, so this is a compass. You set it to like what, there's like a ruler here underneath. You set it to how big you want the circle to be. You have this part that looks like a pen. That's your center point and then your pencil and you just kind of go around in a circle. Um, you would have used this in school in geometry. Who knew I would be going out to buying one to use when I'm in my mid-twenties. <laughs> and then this is just a protractor, so I kind of use this as a guide for shape. 
Um, I also got this cute little ruler. So this is like six inch ruler. Um, so it fits perfectly in my pencil case. And um, I do want to get a 12 inch one to just have for at home like when I'm doing like the spreads that are like longer and across two pages like my habit tracker but for now like this is perfect for me um and any one page spreads that I do and my favorite addition I would say I didn't expect to like go crazy over these I just was going to use them as accents but I have the um uniball um signal gel impact so they're in the um, silver and the gold color. Um, so I've actually used up a lot of the silver, I didn't realize. <laughs> you can see the ink's already way up to here. Um, so these are not with the regular pens at Michael's. They're, um, they're in like the, at least at my Michael's, they're in like the beginning part of the store. Um, like near the scrapbooking stuff, which was weird. Um, but yeah, so love these. And then I have this. This is the Pilot, uh, Friction Erasable Pen. There's different types. There's like markers, like more like a highlighter. There's like this, which is a ballpoint pen. And then there's a gel pen. And I just wanted to give this one a go. Um... So hey guys, here's the overhead shot of my bullet journal spread. So I have, um, in my first bullet journal, I have the grayscale, um, pastel kits, and I was going to transfer them over. I just haven't gotten a chance yet. So this is the secondary landscape and then the galaxy kit. And then let's zoom in over here. So if you can see, I know the silver is super reflective. There we go. So um, we have the gold silver and then the friction pen I've used a lot. So it's kind of running out. But this is the 0 0.7, the ballpoint pen. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.